please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do Dream One if you're new and if you're already a dreamer, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back. Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to make some custom mouse pads and then I'm going to show you how you can sell them. So make sure you stay around to the end so you can get some tips, but I'm going to show you how I designed these inside of Canva and then we're going to talk about how you can sell them these can be some items for Black Friday for Christmas for all of that let's just jump right into the video Lego okay so you could actually do this landscape or you could do a portrait it all depends on you I'm going to do a landscape so like if I'm doing it this way but it really just just depends on you. Okay, so we're going to measure it. And then I'm going to make the height for this to be 8.25. So we have just a little wiggle, wiggle room. And then I'm going to do the width for this to be, you see that? I'm going to do it 9.75 so I can have a little wiggle room. All right. So that's the measurements for this. I am going to lint roll it. Right? So, ooh, ooh. <laughs> so we just lint roll it. Okay. I'm going to do this for all of them. All right. And when you're using sublimation, you always want to lint roll items like this because you don't want any lint or hair or anything to mess your image up because if you heat lint, it will leave colors. So you don't want to do that. Okay, so we are in Canva.com and I'm going to go ahead and get this sizing together because I want them to be landscape. I'm going to go to custom size and I want the width to be the 9.75. So that's what I'm going to type in for width. And then I want the height to be 8.25. All right, but first, y'all see where it says pixels. We have to actually change that to say inches. So, once again, the width is going to be 9.75. And then the height is going to be 8.25 for this particular example. We already talked about it being a little bit larger, making sure we had enough space, etc. All right, so now we're in the blank canvas inside of canva.com. And now we're going to go ahead and figure out what to design. So I will be doing two types of um, mouse pads. One is going to be a teacher's mouse pad and the other one is going to be a breast cancer warrior for breast cancer awareness. Okay. So I'm actually going to fast forward through some of this because this is just my designing process. I was trying to find some apples, trying to see what backgrounds, etc. So I'm just going to fast forward really quickly. So let me explain what I'm doing. I'm searching apples. I'm searching school. I'm trying to see what type of chalkboards that I want. And I didn't know what I wanted. So I just put a lot of different things up so I could see which one I wanted. Okay. So once I did that, I do want to let you know that. So I'm going back to apples. I do want to let you know that depending on the background you use it will affect the type of images that you use so for this one you see how that looks like a cartoon apple that wouldn't match with the realistic chalkboard and realistic apple and um, pencils and scissors etc so you want to make sure when you're designing you're getting things that match now that looks like a real apple not like the clip art apple so if I were to use apples I'll use that one but come to the realization that that's too many apples and is not going to go with what I was thinking. I'm not going to use that. But that's just a simple design technique. When you're using certain things, you want things to kind of match. Unless you're trying to go for another thing, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and add some words here. And I'm going to put best teacher ever. 
Now that's what I'm doing for this particular example. Um, if I were to put her teacher's name, I could have put Madison's teacher name because I'm making these for several of her teachers. If I wanted to share their names, then I could put best teacher ever in one font and then I could put the teacher's name in a different font. But for these, I'm just making some generic ones. Um, so yeah, so we're not putting her teacher's name on these particular ones. However, when you make these as gifts or as um, presents or et cetera, you can do it however you like it. This is just the process. I'm going to actually grab one of my mother's fonts and this was one of her early fonts. It ended up being thickness. So that's the correct name of the font and I'm going to go on Etsy really quick so you can see it. So the link will be down in the description, but I am on Sassy Science Fun Fonts on Etsy. These fonts are just so cute. And um, I am going to show you that the font that I'm using is called Thickness. When I'm searching, it's coming up on the third page, but that's how it looks if you want to go and grab it. And like I said, the link will be down in the description below. Shout out to my mama because that's her fonts. You go, girl. And yeah, so yep. That's the font that you use, and those are some of her reviews and my reviews that I left her. Anywho, let's get back to it. Okay, so I am using the thickness font, okay? And I use it because it kind of looks almost chalkboardish, right? So I'm just playing around with it. So I wasn't sure if I wanted to use that font or not, but I ended up using that one. So let me just fast forward. Fonts and different things are extremely important, especially when you're trying to create something from scratch. Now I want to change the color to a specific type of yellow. I'm playing around trying to see what looks good. Once I get the specific shade that I want, I will be going into effects and trying to see, you know, what looks good or not. Colors and different things are extremely important when you're doing your designs, all right? So once I found the shade of yellow that I actually want I'm like okay let's get into these effects and see how I want this to be um, how I want this to be portrayed or how to look so I'm playing around with the different effects and seeing what looks good and what does not once I found the effect that I wanted I went down to change the color of the background because I just wanted to kind of lift up off of the chalkboard a little bit I ended up sticking with the black I did raise the transparency so you can see the difference in it and I really love the way that that looked I also like the design with the best teacher ever that was already in an apple shape I'm going to change that apple that's kind of like an orangish red to a deep red and then I'm going to change the green leaf to a deeper green leaf but as you see I was just playing around to see which ones I wanted to actually use I'm also going to show you really quickly if you wanted to add the teacher's name now Miss Smith is not Madison's teacher but it's someone's teacher <laughs> If I decided to customize it, I may make that one or one for a different teacher, but I thought that was really cute. So these are just some of the other options that I was thinking about. And you know, you could just play around with it however you like. Okay, I'm going to show you the one that I actually chose to do this one. I chose that one. I really loved what that looked. And then I wanted to make sure that it was over from the edges because remember, I always give a little bit of wiggle room around the edges. So I didn't want things to be cut off I'm deleting the ones that I'm not going to be using and then I'm sticking to that one that's the other one that I actually decide decided to make I'm changing that green to a darker green and the red to a darker red but I'm just going to show you some of the other options that I could have used I think they all look cute and they're really great but I was just trying to get some that would kind of pop today for the video so I decided on my two and now I'm going to make the breast cancer warrior one. So I'm trying to figure out which pink background that I wanted. I was playing around to see will look good and I ended up searching pink gradient. Okay. And then this pink looked so good with that image. Speaking of that image, if you wanted to grab her, you can get her on my Do Dream On Etsy shop. And you can check out some other images that I have as well. However, if you love her like how I love her, you can check her out and see some other images.
All right, so I love the way that that looked and I said, okay, I like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some text. So I decided to try the glow text and then see which words I wanted to use behind this image, okay? So once I figured out what looked good, I'm going to just duplicate several different words and create a design. Once I decided on the words, I chose fight, survivor, strength, and love. Once I decided on those words, I'm lining those words up. I'm actually going to go to position and tidy, tidy them up. Once I have them in a straight line, I duplicated the words so that they could repeat themselves. And then I made it into that cool design back there, okay? Once I did that, I'm going to go ahead to the transparency. I lowered the transparency and then I made them all one group. All right, so I'm showing you here that I can make the words larger in the background or I can make sure that you can see all of the words on the actual mouse pad and I decided to go with that image. All right, I wanted to make sure that it was a little bit of an outline instead of it just being all over. Once again, this is just a designer's decision, okay? It depends on how you want your image to look and I knew I wanted mine to look like that. So those are the three images that I'm actually going to be printing out. The best teacher ever, two of those, and then the breast cancer warrior. I'm going to go to share to download, and I'm going to download them as a PNG. Once I downloaded them as a PNG, I went ahead and I uploaded them into none other than Silhouette Studio, okay? Once inside a Silhouette Studio, sometimes it'll come in the correct size, sometimes it won't. And so you just readjust the sizes. Remember, this is 9.75 in width and 8.25 in height. So sometimes you do have to readjust it. People have asked me about that. But once the sizing is to your liking, we can go ahead and print it out. But first, I actually I wanted to see if I could copy and paste the image onto the same page so that I could save some paper. So this actually worked, y'all. So with the dimensions, I was actually able to put multiple images on the same 11 by 17 paper, okay? Because who doesn't want to save some coins? So I did go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to print this out with my Epson Workforce 7720 with sublimation. These images do have to be mirrored. You guys know by now that my sublimation printer is a preset and it automatically mirrors it. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and print this out and meet me at my heat press. I knew this was about to be lit when it came out my printer looking like this y'all. Look at these colors. Oh yeah, it's about to be on and pop. Bing tent. I was so excited. These came out so good. And look, y'all, it was the perfect size. Y'all see that little line? So I did good with the sizing. It printed it out. Let's see if they fit. Y'all, this sizing was almost perfect. It almost seemed like it was a, a little bit, could have been too short. It was perfect, perfect. I could have made it a little bit bigger. Y'all know I prefer it to be more than less, but oh, it's good. Y'all see that? Okay. All right, it's good. All right, we good. We literally like perfect with this. Y'all know I like it to be bigger because I don't be, I'd be, re I'd rather have way more to play with so we can make sure it's completely covered. But it's completely covered. See? Yeah, the size of. Wait, the sizing is perfect. I actually might put them all on at the same time. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to put them all on at the same. Well, can they fit? I may put two of them at the same time. I know we okay. put the butcher paper down. All right, let me put this uh, camera down. Let me put it on a stand. So I'm going to put two of them on at a time. So here they are. They're both lint rolled. Let me make sure they're in the right spot. And 
And I showed y'all that already. You want to be real careful with the edges. I'm tape it. Now you don't have to do it like this. You could take them apart, but I I just want to do them together. You just make sure everything is covered all around, okay? All right. This was the perfect size, y'all. And I'm taping them all around because I got to flip it. So actually, okay. All right. Okay. So I have it taped and I'm flipping it over. Whew. Okay, you don't want that ink to get on your heat press. I'm putting some up here, some paper. Make sure the whole thing cover. I don't want no ink on my heat press. With your paper. And we're going to do 400 degrees for 60 seconds. So let's go. Cool child. All right. Moment of truth. We're going to let it sit for a second. And what we do with these is we let this sit so the ink can settle and get inside of the substrate. We do not want it to mess up or to ghost or shift or anything. A good sign is that you can see the colors through the paper and it's covered all the way around. So these sizing, y'all, this sizing, it was a bomb. Okay, so we gonna let it sit for a second. Then we gonna pull it off. All right, I hope y'all can see it real good. So excited to see how these turned out. All right, here we go. <laughs> it's hot, but y'all wait. I need y'all to see it as I pull it up, baby. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my, oh my goodness. These look so good, y'all. Hold it up. <gasps> y'all. Oh, let me bring y'all in. Y'all already know. Guys, look how good this look. And that color, that shade of yellow, y'all know I was struggling to find that. <gasps> this looks so good. Y'all, this is the bomb. And look, y'all see that was a little bit of extra ink that came out, but it doesn't look too messed up. Y'all, this looks amazing. Let's make sure this light is right. Y'all see this? Oh my goodness, this turned out so good. Y'all love this. Ooh -wee, let's get to the pink. Okay, y'all. So we're going to do it again. I already lint rolled these. It's very important to lint roll and make sure nothing's on here. Okay. 
we're going to do the exact same thing flip these over okay make sure everything is covered and do one side at a time all right We're going to go ahead, do that side, okay, and okay. make sure it's covered, tape down this side. Right. Then you want to make sure it's straight. This looks like it could be a little bit straighter. Let's see down here. Oh, I'm scared. Flip it over. Oh, here's the moment of truth. I just need it to be straight and covered everywhere. It's hot. Safety first. Get y'all heat gloves. I'm going to let it just sit there for a second. Okay, it covered all the way around. You can see that. That's what I wanted to wait for. Make sure it was all the way covered. So I'm so excited to see how this one turn out. Can y'all see? Me? Okay. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. Ooh, ooh, oh, oh, oh. Yo! Oh. Sorry. Sorry about those noises. Yo! Look how good this looks. Ooh, wee! Oh, yes. And it covered the whole thing. All four of them was perfect. Let me bring y'all in. Guys. And look at that. The way I put the words was perfect. Oh, my goodness. Do y'all see this? Ooh oh, my goodness. Everything was perfect. I'm so happy. It's always good when y'all get something that come out perfect. All four of them was perfect. Y'all, I am in love. Oh, so cute. Yes, sir. We did that. <laughs> I love this. Do y'all see this? Do y'all see those colors? Stop playing. This is Cosmo Ink Asa Paper. Y'all, these colors are popping. And look, I went ahead and put it next to the socks. And they are popping 10. Oh. All right, now let's talk about what we was what we will price these for. Yes, guys. Did y'all see this? Did y'all see how popping these are? Look how good these came out. When I say I love these, y'all. Oh, these came out. So, 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 so good all of them okay so so i just want to hop right into it so if you are selling these mouse pads once again if you've been watching you know i've been telling you what you want to factor in you want to factor in the amount of the blanks the sublimation ink paper butcher paper and your time so i would suggest selling these mouse pads 
anywhere between $12.99 to $19.99. So that's the price range that I will give $12.99 to $19.99 depending on the designs, how long it takes, different things like that, okay? So get these out. I posted these and guess how many people want to buy them already? I just posted the picture, y'all. I have so many orders already. Between that and these socks, make sure y'all watch the video of these socks too. But you guys, I have people trying to get these already. Hot sellers, okay? And that's a wrap. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, holla at your girl. If you have not already followed our Facebook group, Crafty Queen Dreamer, go ahead and join that. We love it over there. Follow me on Instagram, do dream on is the handle. TikTok, do dream on is the handle. And I love y'all. Did y'all know that? I think y'all knew that. Anywho, y'all be safe. I'll dig it here. Bye. Thank you for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.